Let's review how to graph absolute value functions. If you are asked to graph fx equal to 3 times absolute value of 2x minus 1 minus 4, the first thing you need to do is simplify that absolute value part. Using this definition, absolute value of a is equal to a when a is greater than or equal to 0, and it is equal to negative a when a is less than 0. Note the only difference between absolute value of a and absolute value of 2x minus 1 is instead of an a, you have 2x minus 1. So to simplify absolute value of 2x minus 1, just stick in 2x minus 1 wherever you see an a. Here, 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 and here. So absolute value of 2x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 1 when 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0, i.e. when x is greater than or equal to 1 half. An absolute value of 2x minus 1 is the opposite of 2x minus 1 when 2x minus 1 is less than 0, i.e. when x is less than 1 half. So that's what I have here. Keep everything else as it is. Keep the 3, keep the minus 4. Simply replace this by its simplification. And this is what you get. In the next step, you need to keep on simplifying these two lines. So use the distributive property to open out the parenthesis, and this is what you get. y is equal to 6x minus 7 when x is greater than or equal to 1 half. It's negative 6x minus 1 when x is less than 1 half. So our original absolute value function can be rewritten as a piecewise function. It's going to represent this straight line to the right of 1 half, including 1 half and this straight line to the left of one half. So we are going to graph these two straight lines next. So here are the two grids. This grid for this line, this grid for this line. Giving the values that are greater than or equal to one half. It won't work. This line will not work if x is less than one half. This is going to be valid. This is going to be true only when x is greater than or equal to 1 half. So give values to x that are larger than 1 half or equal to 1 half. And these values work, half, 1, and 2. And the corresponding y values are negative 4, negative 1, and 5. For this line, note x has to be less than 1 half. So you need to give values less than 1 half. But what do I have over here? I'm starting with 1 half. The reason is we need to start graphing somewhere. So this is what we will do. We will plot this point 1 half comma negative 4, but we will draw an open circle there indicating that it is not a point on the graph of this line. Okay, other points? 0 works. 0 is less than 1 half. When x is 0, y is negative 1. And when x is negative 1, negative 1 also works. It's less than 1 half. Then y is 5. OK, let's plot these points. Let's start with this point. 1 half comma negative 4. 1 half, 1, 2, 3, negative 4. About here, an open circle indicating this point is really not a point on this line. But the graph starts there. 0, comma, negative 1, there. Negative 1, comma, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there. Okay, let's join these by a straight line. So that line is the graphical representation of my second line here. Okay. Now this one. So let's plot these points: one half, comma negative four, one half, comma negative four. And note now this open circle gets filled up. Then one comma negative one, right over there. 2 comma 5, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let's join these points. So 
So that line is the representation of y equal to 6x minus 7, this one, to the right and including 1 half. This whole thing, therefore, is the graph of my absolute value function fx equal to 3 times absolute value of gx minus 1 minus 4. So here is your final answer.